Hey Libra, Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, right on. And we're gonna get into some deep thoughts for you for kind of sort of the rest of September. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. These aren't official mid months, but these aren't necessarily bonus readings either. So we'll see, okay? Anyway, this is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. If this reading does not resonate with you, please just ignore it. Just ignore it. I'm just not connecting with you right now. Come back next time and maybe maybe there'll be a, an energetic shift, right? Anywho, um, this is not your personal reading. I can't tell you how many readings I give where people call me saying, I've watched your general readings, I've watched all the general readings on YouTube, and this is what's happening in my life. I wanna know the rest of the story. And then we hop in and do their reading, and is there a vein of this? Yeah, but it's not this at all. It's very, very different because everybody's on their own journey, right? So even if this reading resonates with you, this is not your reading. Do not ever make any kind of life decisions based on anybody's general tarot card reading, okay? It's not in your best interest. If you need to make a life decision and you're into all the tarot, get a hold of your favorite tarot card reader. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com in the box below, but definitely get your cards read. It's just worth their weight in gold, right? It just truly is. Okay, you guys, so that being said, Let's do this, okay? Let's do this. I got good news and bad news. The good news is that I am jacked up on coffee. The bad news is I am a simple biatch, and this is not pumpkin spice, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, R-rated channel. If swearing offends you, this is in, for mature audiences only. If if, if this if swearing offends you, then you need to just click off right now because I'm going to offend the hell out of you, okay? So that being said. Let's do this, all right? All right, Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, you enter into this reading with works. Works is the physical attainment of an idea. Oh, I'm using a little bit of a different deck. This is called the Thoth deck. And you'll see as we go how it's a little bit different. It's not that different, but anywho, you enter this reading into a, you re enter into this reading with a card called Works, right? This is the material establishment of an idea or an ambition, okay? All right. So I asked, well, what is this? What what is this this idea, right? Because what it is is that you want to take inspired action towards the Queen of Wands, okay? Some type of Queen of Wands character. We're going to go back to that though. Hold on. So I asked, what what is preceding the beginning card, right? And I got this. I got there has been pain and sorrow and heartbreak in some situation in your life to the Ten of Pentacles that you want to make right, that you want to restore to factory condition, okay? The Eight of Swords. This is you being in a self-imposed mental imprisonment about this. Now, that sounds a little drastic, okay? The Eight of Swords is not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. It's really not, right? Eights are about movement, change, action, um, an energetic shift, right? And in this Eight of Swords energy, you can see, right? She's blindfolded, she's tied up, and she is surrounded by swords. But if you look really close, there's three swords to her left and five swords to her right. And there is definitely room for her to walk out unscathed, right? So the energy of the Eight of Swords is panic, okay? But that's the beginning energy is panic, but she's not going to stay here very long, right? Only an asinine person would just stand there and hope somebody helps them, right? What she's going to do is she's going to work her way through this. She's going to get through the panic stage and she's going to develop into eventually the nine of swords, right? Nine is about fruition and attainment. So anyway, she's going to work her way through this and she's going to stop panicking and she's going to realize that she can take that blindfold off of her eyes and that she can very easily get out of this situation. And that's what you're doing. You are formulating a decision-making progress as to what your next move is going to be. Okay. What you want your next move to be is to create some kind of foundation stability establishment somewhere where there has been heartbreak, grief, sorrow, pain in the past. I mean, well, it could be in the immediate, but I feel like it's the past. 
Okay, so that is the idea that you are going to materialize in your life right there. The decision that you make in that eight of swords, how you're going to proceed forward to make right something that was wrong. Okay, that's the material attainment. To the queen of wands and the ace of wands. You want to take some kind of inspired action towards a queen of wands type character. Male, female, doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, the queen of wands oftentimes stands for career um, and um, investments. It stands for um, somebody who's very, very determined, exuberant. So you want to take some kind of inspired action towards a queen of wands character in your life, whether it be love, work, business, doesn't matter. But this queen of wands is who you want to make things right. See, because the decision that you make in this eight of swords is to stop being all tied up about it and to actually do something about it. That's the ace of wands. That's what you're doing right here, right? You're doing, you're taking inspired action to attain what it is that you want to attain with the works card towards a queen of wands type entity okay energy okay peace comes in peace says that you want to make peace in this situation it's as simple as that you want to make peace in this situation see that's the difference with these cards see this is the two of swords and in the two of swords in this deck means peace the two of swords in um the other decks means confusion and chaos and information overload at a crossroads but in this deck it means peace it's extremely profound very very deep Okay. Anyway, so you want to make peace with the situation, right? You want to make peace to the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Cups in reverse. You want to make peace with the emotions between the two of you, right? You want to create. The Ace of Cups is about overwhelming emotion. It's about a new opportunity in love, manifesting love, and it's about creation. And the peace card indicates to me that you want to make peace in the emotions between the two of you. To the Ten of Swords, where there was crisis, betrayal, defeat, loss, and endings in the past. Hence, this Three of Swords right here, right? Possibly a third party situation because we have the three with the three of swords, and then we have the three with this three of cups. Now, the three of cups can be read two different ways. This can either be absolutely a third party situation, a three's a crowd type of thing, right? But the three of cups in reverse also stands for stifled creativity. So what I really wanna say is, yeah, could have there been a three, three third party situation in the past? Yes, absolutely, positively. But that is besides the point. And I don't need mean to make the pain irrelevant, but that's not the point in this spread right here, okay? So <clears throat> you wanna make peace in your emotions with the situation because there was a defeat, betrayal, crisis, loss, just a shit show in the past, right? to the Three of Cups in reverse, either because of a third party situation, but regardless, there's stifled creativity between the two of you, and you would like to unstifle that creativity and create something and make something right that was wrong. That's your desire. That's the decision that you're making. That's what you're going to do. The universe, this is the equivalent to the world card, kind of, okay? This is about one life cycle ending and a new life cycle beginning. This is the universe saying, this is the right thing to do, okay? They're supporting your decision and they are going to facilitate, they, whatever that is, right? Are going to facilitate um, progress for you in this situation because you're making the right decision to make good and make right by whatever went wrong here okay awesome libra prudence comes in and says that you want to be very careful about this you want to be very prudent about the way that you go about this because um, your intentions are very meaningful here, okay? So you're going to be diligent and wise about how you move forward in this situation because there's a lot riding on it, right? The Nine of Wands comes in and says that you're going to have to be courageous. You have to be courageous because there was a lot of conflict, a lot of um, confusion in the past. And this is a crossroads. This 
movement, this action that you're going to take, these works that you're going to do, is you're at a crossroads. And all of the success of this situation depends on you being very prudent in the way that you move forward. Because your ultimate goal here is a two of cups relationship, right? Right. Okay. What do we have? Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. Next card out is debauch, debauchery, right? Debauchery is leading someone astray from a moral path to the six of pentacles, who it is that you give and receive with. What these two cards tell me is that you feel like either your actions or their actions led this relationship astray in the past. How do I know it's a past relationship? Well, all these cards say that, right? The three of swords, painful sorrow, heartbreak, grief, rejection. I mean, that's not what's going on right now. So that is something that was in the past. If it is going on right now with you, morph this reading to, to don't morph this reading. Don't try to make it fit. Take what applies to you and leave the rest, okay? All right, so debauchery. Somebody went astray, morally astray, which goes right back to that third-party situation. I don't know, right? To the Six of Pentacles. You used to give and receive. You used to have a good time together. You used to share, right? But some kind of debauchery screwed all of that up for you. Death comes in and says, you, you're going to change this. You're going to change this situation. You're going to change it. And the alchemist comes on top of it and says that you're manifesting it right now as we speak. If this reading hasn't started for you yet, then you will be manifesting it. And if you're in the thick of this, that's what's going on, is you are manifesting a change in this situation. Hold on. We got a little messed up here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Failure, that's right. Hangman to the Ace of Swords, that's right. Okay, failure in the middle of your reading, okay? There has been, this is dual purpose. There has been failure in this situation before with you, okay? There's been failure before. Failure to connect with somebody emotionally, okay? To the Five of Swords because there was deceit and betrayal. Some kind of shady behavior was going on, right? And that is why this whole situation is a failure. That's why it failed. That's why it's a failure now. That's why it failed in the past because there was some kind of shadiness going on and it blocked the feels department, okay? Block the feels department. In the center of your reading, the reason for the failure. Interesting. That being in the center of your reading, your energy being centered and focused around failure to connect emotionally because of shady behavior that says that you have come to the conclusion with that Eight of Swords energy that there is um, accountability. Okay, so once you recognize what the problem is, then and only then can it be fixed, right? That's like trying to help somebody that doesn't ask for your help and is an empath. And anybody out there that's an empath can tell you, um, man, we have this massive desire to help everybody, right? Everybody all the time to help everybody. But I've learned in my life that if someone doesn't come to you of their own free will and say, man, I need help. You can't help them. You can't help them. You cannot help them. So identifying the root of the reason that this whole thing failed is a huge step forward, right? A huge step forward. And the reason that it failed is because there was deceit, betrayal, lying, cheating, stealing, shady behavior, keeping something on the down low, not being honest. To the hangman. You are in the hangman energy. 
at this point in the reading, you are pausing, you are processing everything that's going on here because every one of these cards is a mental, physical, or emotional process that you have to go through, right? That's why you can't put a time frame on readings because it just depends on how you process. It's your journey. However you process this is how long it takes you to get through it all, right? So you're in the hangman energy and you're processing things, right? You're accepting what is and you're coming out on the other side with a new perspective. Look, the Ace of Swords says in this hangman energy, you have absolute, complete mental clarity about what has happened and what you're going to do to fix it. The Tower card. This is an absolute awakening, a revelation and an awakening. That's what you have right here in the hangman energy with the ace of swords, right? You have an absolute awakening in the center of your reading about why things failed. And this is what you're going to do about it. This is what you're going to do about it. So you have been in your head about this queen of wands character and about, I don't think about the action that you want to take, but about what happened right? This, this five of swords in the center of your reading about what happened. You've been in your head racking your brain about what happened between you and this queen of wands, right? Look, the queen of wands racking your brain. Here, let me do it this way. Racking your brain about the queen of wands. How, what, where, when, who, why, what should I do? Queen of Swords comes in and says that you're going to speak your truth. You've made a decision and you are going to speak your absolute truth to this Queen of Wands character. The Prince of Swords says you're going to do it quickly too. You're going to do it quickly. But the Prince of Swords, you see, he's not a follow through kind of guy. The Prince of Swords, I mean, think about it in all of the movies and stuff like that. When a knight goes charging in, right? When they go charging in, I mean, look at that dude. He is charging in, right? When a knight goes charging in, they go in and they, they do what they need to do and then they get the fuck out, right? That's what a knight does. That's why the Knight of Pentacles is slow energy because he's not doing that, right? Um, but that's what a knight does. So this is what you're going to do. I think what you're going to do, Libra, is you're going to, you've made the decision that you're going to speak your truth, but it's not going to be a big, huge outpouring of love and emotion. It's going to be a very, with the Queen of Swords right there, it's going to be a very straightforward, very quick, this is my truth, take it or leave it, it is what it is, do what you will, kind of message, okay? To the Eight of Cups, it's going to be talking about um, why you have withdrawn, what the disappointment is, and probably what your expectations are as well. To the World card, this is your effort to close out this cycle. That's why you're rushing in like the Knight of Swords right here, right? That's why you're rushing in like the Knight of Swords is because um, this is like your last, last ditch effort. You're like, I have identified the problem. I'm willing to accept accountability for whatever it is that I've done in this situation. Let's bury the hatchet. Let's replace all of this negativity with positively, let, positivity. Let's have an inspired new beginning. Let's forgive and forget and create the Ten of Pentacles together. I've had a revelation and an awakening, and this is what I want to do, right? This is your way of closing out this cycle. Come what it may let the cards fall where they do you are closing out this cycle and if this person wants to move forward with you so be it if this person does not want to move forward with you so be it right on right on right on right on luxury these cards are still sticky for me a little bit <laughs> I don't know them inside and out. I have to think about luxury. Actually, I'm going to look right here at my cheat sheet and tell you what luxury means. What is this? It is the Four of Cups. Four of Cups, luxury. I have a cheat sheet for the Thoth deck because I don't have them all memorized yet, right? So the Four of Cups is 
something adding to pleasure or comfort, but not absolutely necessary. That's exactly what I just said right here. Something that would be nice to have, but it's not absolutely necessary for your well-being. That's what I just said about all of those cards, right? You're going to go in and you're going to put it on the table. And if they take it, they take it. And if they don't, they don't. Something that would be nice, but is not absolutely necessary. The luxury card. This is clarified by the King of Swords, okay? This is you speaking your absolute truth. You're speaking your absolute truth with, tem with the Temperance card, Purpose. You're speaking your truth with purpose because like I just said, there is a purpose behind all of this, a goal, right? And you don't want to make a regretful but necessary transition, but if you need to, you will, right? You will. You'll just bow out and go about your business and no harm, no foul. You gave your best effort and carry on, right? Okay. Two. The Knight of Discs. Okay. This goes back to you being prudent, right? You're going to be slow and steady about this communication, this decision that you're making right here, how to implement it, how to execute it, because the outcome of it is all or nothing, right? That's why you want to be so prudent about this decision. That's why you want to be so careful about how it is that you present this to this person because it's all or nothing. It's either going to make or it's not, and it's over one way or another, right? Either the cycle of the conflict is over and you guys come together and have an inspired new beginning, or it's just simply over. That's the urgency of the situation to the Ace of Pentacles, manifesting a new beginning with each other. You want victory in this situation. You do. You want this person to choose to, to fix this situation with you. You want them to. You want a new beginning and a new journey with this person. However, this is, this is dual purpose too, because if they don't want to, to work things out with you, it's a victory anyway because the cycle's closed and now you can move on to your own new beginning and your own journey, right? The emperor. This is all about the structure, the authority, the establishment of your life. This is about you taking charge of the situation and taking control. This is about you doing what needs to be done and getting shit handled. That's what this emperor card is about right there. To the high priestess, okay? The card of Pisces. High priestess is about um, sitting down with your subconscious mind, your intuition, your higher power, and, and working things out. Trying to come to an absolute... trying to come to the stage of absolute execution, what you're trying to achieve here. Clarified by, or followed by, I should say, the moon card. This moon card is about fear. It's about anxiety. The card of Pisces as well. That's why I mentioned this Pisces. I didn't mention any other signs really, because we have a Pisces back to back right here, right? So, um, 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 fear, anxiety, you're sub struggling with your subconscious mind is what this card is about, okay? So you're sitting down with the high priestess. You're struggling with your subconscious mind about love, about love. Judgment card says that you make an absolute decision. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on Resurrection Day, on Judgment Day, resurrecting the dead from the grave, okay? This is like a serious fucking decision. All right, huge decision. This whole decision that we just talked about right there, it's huge for you, one way or another, and you are all in either way, either way, but you are all in, 100% in. To a card called Virtue, this is about doing the right thing. It's about um, going down the path that you believe is in your very very best interest to the star card hope faith 
purpose, renewal, spirituality. Choose one. Never fear. The star is here. That's what you want. That's the goal, right? Can't tell you what's going to happen in the situation because there's too much free will. Who knows who your other, what your other person is going to do? I mean, this is a general tarot card reading. How in the world could we ever even pinpoint what the, what kind of decision the other person's going to make, right? All we can do is focus on your energy because you're present. Okay. If you want to know what this other person is going to do, how they think about you, how they feel about you, and what their intentions are to you. That happens to be one of my specialties. <laughs> so, uh, Aries, they almost called you Aries, I guess because the emperor is down here. I don't know. It could be dealing with an Aries. So, Libra, um, you are doing one last good soul search, right? And you are coming to terms with the decision that you're going to make and how you're going to execute it. And you are going to execute it. It's the very best decision for you. And the star card says that you sure are gambling on hope and faith and renewal in this relationship. There you go, Libra. That is your reading. Being super, super vigilant, super prudent about the decision um, about the action that you're going to take because the way that this is presented is a be-all to end-all. It's a game changer. It's a game breaker, right? And um, you are. You're, you're going to do it. You are going to do it and let the cards fall where they may. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.